Friday to break the impasse. Jeffrey Cox said plans to solve the deadlock over the Irish backstop were as clear as day, with just days MPs vote on the Brexit deal. Common leader Andrea Leedsom confirmed the vote will be held on March 12. Chancellor Philip Hammond has warned Brexiters to vote for the deal or face delay to the UK's exit from the EU. The backstop is an insurance policy designed to prevent physical checks on the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. Finally, Russia's parliament has passed two bills outlawing disrespect of authorities and the spreading of what the government deems to be fake news. The first ban refers to blatant disrespect of the state, its officials and Russian society, and repeat offenders face up to 15 days in jail. The TASS, site news, TASS state news agents reported that the second bill prohibits sharing false information of public interest shared under the guise of fake news. Both new crimes can carry heavy fines. President Vladimir Putin is expected to sign the bills into law once they have received approval from Russia's upper house, the Federation Council. The body will consider both bills on March 13. Those were the local and international headlines brought to you by Stevenson's Electronics, 56 Main Street, Otreus, everything electronic and more. Major news at 545. From the IRFM newsroom, I am Natalie Campbell. Uh, Abu Dhabi. Say again? Eh? I didn't get that. I said, oh, you don't go to Dubai. Because um, Dwight is gone. No, then, so he said, do I take it, take your job? <laughs> I look so. <laughs> yeah, but are you, me, you know, say, are the traveling man and all them here? Well. They might put younger people in your space now. I'm probably more, more efficient people. You don't dinosaur. Yes, I tell you. Lose but the job. Maybe not more efficient, but cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, can't speak to that. I can't speak, don't speak to that. that. <laughs> don't speak to that. Let me get out of trouble. Maybe that. I'm yeah. too expensive. <laughs> but, so, is that what a two week him say he might have to stay over there? Well, him probably might be there for about a month. You know, you're serious? Then. <laughs> then if it's nice, you know, double it up, man. Yeah. I think officially he might be there for about two weeks. Give more money, man. <laughs> so I'm give money for shop for me, though. <laughs> well, is I think he's going to be hampered by the amount that he has to walk, to walk with. Why you give money for buying things to No, not me. But if you give him money and other people give him money, plus the money you have already. That means you shouldn't give him no money. You, you never need to. You more. should just give him a little piece of paper with some stuff. Well, you know, so when you go to Morocco, but it well will give you some money for buying some things for me and I'm here to go to Morocco. And I went to the place that he wanted me to I go. I mean, no, so I couldn't call you. I said, bring that with me. Because you told me to say, no, no money. Well, it, no, man, them times you could have called me and tell me, man. Them times you told me, man. But no, I couldn't guarantee that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went to both places that you would have wanted me to go and I say all the things that you wanted. That means you know, say, me, man. Yes, man. I tell you, man. <laughs> anyway, so what, you, you stop up on the road now. You know, so in house. Well, it looks so, you know. Eh? It looks so. Okay, they retire you uh, from them traveling. Let me I guess I guess I have no choice in the okay, matter. So I am um, coming over to say concrete. I go out of Finland the other day. Yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> where are you? Where are you again? Weird. We oh, not say we not go away. Yeah, man. Weird went away recently. And where? We not talk about Trinidad and Tobago. We not talk about. <laughs> Far, like Dubai. <laughs> well, well, he's going Africa. away again shortly, but not as far as that. India and all the places. Yeah. Like, so, <laughs> anytime we talk about going nowadays, I mean, not talk about... Far, hours. We not talk about Miami, you know. 15 hours flight. Miami, I don't go to me. No, man. sir. Miami, I just Can you can go into the morning and come back in the evening. Yeah, no, I <laughs> talk about India and Yeah, China man, 15 hours flight. Finland and yeah. Africa and them places. Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Abu Dhabi and them places. Yeah. Yeah. Dubai. Yes. South Africa. Australia. Australia. Yes, New yes. Zealand. So you stop going to them places you now? No, they stop me. Them stop you? Yeah. Not that you wouldn't go again, but them stop it, you. I'll be ready to go tomorrow morning. I uh, will talk to them for you, sir. <laughs> All right. Like 20%. <laughs> not a problem. 20% is you. If you ever say it, yeah. I'll be, I'll accept. Yeah. All right, sir. <laughs> cool. No, because I, I, I notice, I notice, uh, it's about 100 Hey, I worry for people from Jamaica going along there, you know. You hear about it? You know you hear about it? I was young, young, the Rasta. You mean Dubai? Young, young, same don't know about it. Of course, the world championship, man. I know, I know Jamaica going along there, yeah, you know. Man. I think it's over 100, the Jamaica. Okay, I mean, I hear, last time I talked about Matrix, because you know me love Matrix, my dad, you know. Mm-hmm. 
You didn't know that? Yeah, man, you tell me. Yeah, man, me love me just mother got more than Jesus love little children, man. <laughs> and she accepted it, silly, though. She accepted the love. She has no problem with it. Yeah. Step forward, all right, really. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> me say, Matrix, me why your mother come and me, me, me a what, you know. Him mm. say she gone at Dubai. Oh. And she not come back till next month. Yeah, they know. Maybe I could change your award date. Eh? Yeah, we can't wait for change the award and change she. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but enough, enough Jamaica. Yeah, man, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a big team, man. So money I run. Well, it's not that money. It's, a, it, um, it's not a money around thing, you know. Uh, you see, the world bodies yeah. assisting and, and the, and the yeah. local people do their fundraising. Yeah, but you know and what the, And the local Olympic Association have their input as well. But we know what I'm Long at Dubai, they are pure five-star hotel. Long, you know. I mean, it's not, not travel large, Long at Dubai. And them you know, have them kind of things at them places. Yeah, food, five-star yeah. hotel. Yeah. And if you have to take the bus and you stop and stand up at the bus stop, it's air-conditioned too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can, I'll, 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 the bus stop is air-conditioned. Yes, man. I'll, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we see you look at South Africa. We see you look at South Africa one time, you know, remember? Yes, and, yes, and and the South Africa Convention Centre we just spoke about. Yes, <clears> yes, yes. Where they'll be hosting the Netball World Cup. So we, where, 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 ent- where we are entered on there? Oh, oh, the man said we have to stop talk. Wow, come out of the studio. <laughs> More come important the things come up. <laughs> come out of the studio because we are listening up catch for special part draw up next. Believe you me. And when you say up next, we say it don't really start, you know. <laughs> really start. <laughs> Cash pot, special pot draw up next. Welcome to this afternoon's Supreme Ventures Live Cash Pot Special Pot Game Draw. Get your tickets out and let the game begin. Good afternoon. It's Thursday, March 7, 2019. I'm Deirdre. Welcome to this afternoon's Live Supreme Ventures Cash Pot Special Pot Game Draw. Remember, all our live draws are being supervised by the Betting Gaming and Lotteries Commission and observed by the independent auditing firm PwC. And it's now time for your favorite game, Cash Pot. But first, a quick reminder that our 1 p.m. winning Cash Pot number was 18, and the lucky mark for 18 is Race Horse. And of course, a silver Mega was selected. Now remember, you live to play it, but can you win it? Well, let's see what this afternoon's winning cash pot special pot number will be. And the 3 p.m. winning cash pot number is lucky number three. So congratulations to all our special pot winners. Again, the winning cash pot number is three, and the lucky mark for three is dead. And guess what? Over $940 million have been won in the last two weeks over a cash pot mega pot promotion. And all also, from now until Saturday, March 16, you'll have even more chances with the mega winnings with our two mega balls. With a gold mega ball, you will win an additional $740 for every $10 bet. And with the silver mega ball, you win an additional $300 for every $10 bet. And it's now time to mega your cash pot money, so good luck. And let's see what color ball is going to be selected. And a white ball has been selected. And of course, congratulations to everyone who won. And Digicel Direct Top Up is now available at all our Supreme Ventures terminals. You can top up with as little as $50, so please do try it out today. And do stay tuned and remember to join us again at 5 p.m. for more games you love to play. I am Deandra. Have a supreme afternoon. Hope you were a big winner. Supreme Ventures, games people love to play and more. Mm. Yes, <laughs> that was the cash for special pot draw. We are talking about traveling a European part of the thing. Congratulations to all of today's winners. Join us again at 5 p.m. for another chance to win the top draw dollars. Pick two, pick three, pick four, and cash pot draws. Yeah, me tell me bridge in a while ago say, you have some player now where have double bed in night. Yeah, you lady can lay down her ear horses when you buck up on the plane. You know, you can't lay down, you know, you know, thing, you know. No, may I tell you, it's it amazing, you know, play, I don't like playing first time, you know. Play, I don't like playing first time at all, a different thing you now, you have all. No, no, not enough flight, man. May I tell you, say, not enough, not like, uh, a joke business, that, man, not a, uh, where, where we call that now? Where, 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 minibus, a minibus business, that. From here to Miami, one hour, 18 minutes, not enough flight. Not about flight. You have to young, young. When you're going on the plane, 
and you sit down so you just press button so you see you, you see seat gone way back no matter talk about each up at one place you know I mean 180 degrees you are laid down you know flat. and you have your own television and every minute if, uh, when you sleep the woman come on and wake up would you like some this would you like some that would you like some that so tie your back so right you like how you are sleep <laughs> <laughs> no, never ask you where you are. You put on your sleeping clothes. No, we don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. <laughs> them girls are that thing. Them, them girls are slippers. Everything. And all these things, you know. But first time flight, you can't get any kind of food where you want to play now, you know. First time I just one kind of food that you have to just near them girls. You hear many before. Yeah, man. I have, before you go up and play, them have vegan, them have Indian, Chinese, this, that, that, that. First, first class. Eh? No man, regular man, regular. Yeah. You can't order your food before you go up on the plane in a regular yeah. plane. Yeah. With different no, if you're not first class, no. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Them could have a little plane and I need the plane class. where fly go get your things and come back. <laughs> 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 and come back. <laughs> no, we are telling you, fly that don't like first time. Fly that don't like first time at all. Bones for nobody. No. You and you have your little cubicle. Your little yeah. bucket or your lay down in this one, or you don't see nobody. The only thing you don't get is your own bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and true, but they all have this cup on the plane now, too. <laughs> Take a joke, bar. You have bar on the plane, you know. Mm-hmm. You believe me? Yes, yes. No, man, flight, I don't like first time, man. Trust me, flight, I don't like first time. Anyway. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry you say you never get for God brain drain. But I have a lobby for you still. Right, I have a lobby for you, 20%. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give me 80? Oh, you just want to fly. Yeah, exactly. You just want to fly. Yeah, uh, exactly. Let me know, you can't make you come up on my yard, but I'll fly, man. Make you fly. I will leave a bird up on my yard, make you hold up on the wing. Okay, we want to remind you that the hour between 3 and 4 is brought to you by Goa's Choice Avery's. Organic fertilizer. Call now for advice or order at 876 930 Grow as choice, the smart choice. Grow as choice. Why you remember that name there? For the organic fertilizer. Yes. Okay. So what were they now? My my new producer just tell me that the um the thing is supposed to finish in me. All of them. So we're gonna see what gonna happen. But for the next note now, this need election where they might start up over up over Portland or so now. Is it, it, it show I mean it's not even it's not even nomination time yet, you know. Them not have nomination day yet. Don't them change the date to something like the sixth of April or something. I don't understand when we are talking about a different kind of politics in a Jamaica. And these so called young people were supposed to make a difference. I mean, I fight against young people were supposed to make a difference. But I don't see the difference with these young people in a politics I make. Because I realize, uh, I will not me realize, but it's the truth, which is reality. If you change your man and don't change the system, it never work. It's just that you have the same system set up. I have different people. It's like a two-headed dragon. You chop off one head, the dragon not dead. And the same body. One body, two head. Like a cyclops. Two-headed cyclops. You see it? Because even sometimes the cyclops have one eye. And two head. And you chop off one of the head. The cyclops now, they not get defeated. Yeah, may I tell you. So, when we look on these so-called... People are ball out, so you need more young people in our politics. Of all the people them were in the politics right now, where it's supposed to be young, including the Prime Minister, where them say, born after independence. Because Prime Minister about late 40s and you know, all, I'm supposed to go on them late 40s and you know. all. People will say the Prime Minister do a good job. I don't know if it's if is is it youngness why you would have said I do a good job. Or is a policy that impress you because the policy that impress you is not him come up with that policy. That policy was set, entrenched in the system 
of the GLP. And all them I do is tag along with what the GLP offer. offer. And then sometimes him get autocratic in them ways. The PLP is the same thing. But them I try now, switch now, and go back to them old socialist ways. Which really and truly, when you look upon the man them in the PNP, apart from, apart from um, Damian Crawford, I mean, just I tell my bridging a while ago, yeah, so I was a millennium too. I, mean, I tell my bridging, say, Damian Crawford intelligence above him, peer grade. Yes, Damian Crawford intelligence above him, peer grade. So when him open him mouth, it's another thing. That's why I say, he must not open him mouth. Damian Crawford just keep, just have a silent, I mean, just go amongst the people and do what he do. But then now, we see we are going in a Portland as another travesty because the time they will come for the election yet and so much controversy are going up there. It's a madness. It's a madness. And I want to tell the people them, you know, and I will say this, I say this over and over and over and over, you know. I hear an argument where, 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 where Daryl Vaz supposedly have said that Dear me and cry, them see me in a pork shop. <laughs> I wonder if a man see me in a pork shop where I mean, he would have come, come, same see me eat pork. That rude and out hard. Because I depend, me depend told my musician them and me I tell you, every time them see a McDonald's, them want to go in there. And me not sit on the bus by me say, me go in there, go sit on with them. But nobody can come take my picture and put up now, come say, Muta Baroka eat McDonald's because that is out of order. Out of order. I can go into hell and don't get burned. Because fire no burn fire. I can go into hell and don't get burned. Not that we are talking about hell and heaven or so no, but the idea when we hear them say the Rasta in a pork shop. Let me tell Jamaica people something for they never hear. Damian Crawford say him is not a Rasta. What me say? Damian Crawford, that youth we are running at the PNP, say him is not a Rasta. So they must stop mix up the youth. The youth say him is a Christian. Him is not a Rasta. Everybody we have locked is not a Rasta. First time. First time. There was a time when everybody who locks a Rasta. It is not like that now. You have everybody, gays, happy people, sad people, old people, left people, right people, one foot people, everybody have lots now. Some twisty twisty, some curly curly, all of them things. Damian Crawford is not a Rasta. And it's not because me have understanding about Rasta. So him say it. Him say is not a Rasta. So they must stop the damn foolishness and I call them a dirty rasta and all them something because that is what they might do. They don't want a dirty rasta in a portland and they don't want this and that in a portland. Damian, but I say, just like him when he said dirty labor right. Because Damian Crawford called dirty labor right, dirty labor right, you know, and, 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 and plywood comrade. Remember? He said dirty labor right and plywood comrade. Anytime Damian, so the man never backfired the thing for him though. I call him dirty rasta. He shouldn't be offended. And me must get offended. And me, me, I get offended when me hear people that say, somebody who are running a politics, you're going to use that now. Because me, hear, me, 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 me get cussed already about that. And for no say Jamaican people still have that, now them thinking. Dear man, you ever see dear man Christ, look not yet? Dear man Christ, well, always well, just and them ear well tricks up. You know, it, it look like, him have a lady where I pick out each, each ear off him, uh, where, where, where him chin. That's him have no ear off him chin. Well yes, him well groomed. When you see, when you see me, and the other one, the other one for the JLP side, you can't tell him, you know, you have a next one for the JLP side. Him used to work for Bob's, you know, them switch him and go somewhere else. When you look on them man there, you know, the man they speak and span. No, oh no, could I go, and me, you see, when them say dirty rasta in a put it, and me, them are cause, you know, when I say me, I mean, I talk about me, physically me, but the whole idea of Rasta. 
Because you understand, say, if a man goes to that in a damn time, you know, you know to them still not like Rasta, you know. That's why I can't take a man to go and move to you for turn prime minister, you know. And you forgot to run the election. I'm mad or not mad. Before somebody go stand up on IRFM pool and jump off. But go, go, go run in a politics. Me for running a politics. You must be mad, man. Come here wear shoes and you can't imagine no apart from me a dirty rasta where else I'm gonna say. Can look on Damian, oh, poor Damian Craft. What I mean, really? Every time you say Damian Craft, what him just look like him? I go at church or him go funeral, right? Look who never look a uh, called dirty rasta. It's not Damian Craft for them talking. It's an inside, deep resentment against rasta. Yes, you know, it's a it's a deep. Oh, them look on rasta. So even if you don't look for your have a locks. I, I, I am not a rasta. I am mean, not a rasta. But for everybody who lacks, I don't a rasta. So me, me, me pass the idea about uh, just like when them said Damon Crawford, I tell, I, I say, what's your name? Where, 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 where the wife name? And uh, what's your name? Anne Marie. Yeah, she have a lot of name. My, my, my sister. Um, where, where, where the brother where up the name? Portland man. Vaz. Vaz. Mrs. Vaz. All right. Them say, him say, ah, Mrs. Vaz is good, is good for, is B. Mrs. Vaz. Right? That is where him put her down to Mrs. Vaz. So everybody come up down upon him now, you know. And say, oh, him could have said that. Where must say, woman, and him bring in the woman issue and all them something there. All right. You see, if Uno bring in this woman issue, if you are individual politician, and me know, me know, say, because not the first. When them did that run in a half of you, people come out to that talk about them now nah vote for no dirty rasta. And from them time, them say, man, no rasta, you know. You remember when them did that run out to have a view here, them say, the, the, uh, East Kingston, you call that? Uh, where you call this? Uh, St. Andrew? Yeah, all right. Uh, from that time, them say, man, dirty rasta, you know. All right, now. So now this Portland thing come up now. And the dirty rasta thing come up again. Me take it personal. Me take it personal. Because most of my life, me a rasta. I'm a people them a rasta. That means that Jamaican people still not come to grips with that group of people in a Jamaica. We say them is rasta. Because them still have this dirty rasta. I see the people who are saying them are called people dirty rasta. You want to go out of them house. You want to go out of the house. And them people that mask it up, fly all over the place. And them garbage pack up all in front of them garage and all them something and I call people dirty rasta. How the hell Jamaica did it so? How we, how, how we did it so? We did it so because the people them is grafted into a social mentality that them can't define themselves. As a people and politician is the ones who is responsible. The politician them. Because no me them I use a budget tune, you know. I advertise some this and I made them I advertise a budget tune. Right? And I only tell about these posters what them say. One of the one of the delegates them I keep sure. I all of the big artists, rasta artists them depend on the show. And me I say, okay, I decide them now. So politician catch me from them time there and them use heal the man you know black scandal bag can I remember with a black scandal bag with Siaga they come up with the black scandal bag talking and all them something there. and then you know, have now I and I have beat down Babylon you know Babylon has sing that you know <laughs> the IRA they have it you know that Babylon has sing I and I have beat that. after we are called them Babylon there's a thin line between Babylon and Babylon in line. So them use all of the Rasta phrases, heal the man, one love, all of them things there. And Rastafari is still there. In all that persecution, Rastafari is still there. Them still now uh, threw up the idea of Rasta picnic for go to school with the locks. Even though we see it at chain still, but there's a certain, especially amongst hardcore fundamentalist Christian, because most of Christian people do these things. You know, see, you can't wear spaghetti strap. 
in a certain government place and all that. Like say your yard them ago. Like like you go to them yard. I mean if a man know why you wear certain things and come in your yard and smoke cigarettes. You can't tell about public place. You understand? You individual just like how them have your celebrate Lent. Lent is a Roman Catholic thinking. It does nothing to do with Bible Bible. Roman Catholic come up with that and them have it as a holiday. Every most of the holiday we have come out of church thinking. The whole we are not Christian. So how them institutionalize something for the wider public. That year in year out we celebrate it as a holiday. And guess what? This is the weirdest thing. Rasta there. And Rasta have a different perspective. Are supposed to have a different perspective. But for you look on a youth. Because you think that how much time dear man crap on say man or rasta. Nobody now listen to that, you know. The idea is that he is a dirty rasta. I mean, I take off a dear man because dear man open him mouth too loud and open him mouth too wide sometime. I don't know flying or reach long I'm out. The way my open it. As I youth him open him mouth too wide because him feels him very intelligent, you know. And sometimes him intelligent make him become almost pious. Him intelligent make him feel like him is above certain things. You know, see, so when him, it's like him attack down instead of attack to. They might talk down. That is Damien Crawford behavior and attitude more time as a youth. Because people don't expect different things from the youth. The thing that grieves me is that of all these things, we still are dirty Rasta. We still is dirty Rasta. It's like sometimes people go back up in my bush, go just sit down and just eat food, chant, and just say, all right, because... As some serious thing when dirty people are called a dirty rasta, it's it, it terrible, you know. It's like a man, like a man, say, Motor, let me drive the other car. You don't know what kind of car you used to drive before you see me drive the other car, you know. Motor, a man like you should not drive. You should not drive a Range Rover, that's how I'm saying. I drive the Montero Sport, him say. Motor man like you should not drive a Montero Sport. You should not drive a Range Rover. Me say a man like you should not walk. <laughs> because people go criticize when me a drive now and him a walk. He never see me a walk come long I rate. Me never walk come long I rate, you know. Me take taxi, I'm a car, I'm a drive, come long and somebody come for me. That's how it go. So it's like, me know you point your finger, there's so how much finger I point for you, you know, I say, but wait. How can a man reach down in a desk, so? And I come tell you about... Like him want to carry you down there so with him. And I come talk about dirty rasta. I call the youth dirty rasta. It's not Damien Crawford who not talk about. It's me. It's me who not talk about. I and I and I and I were all over the place. We heal up rasta fire where we have locks. We don't like locks. We don't like locks. And them same people they go to church every Sunday. Them go to church every Sunday. Them don't like rasta. Ah, you see them are going. Them don't like Rasta. And Rasta must know that. You have some Rasta going like say, if him get caught in a certain things you now and I go on like say, yeah, the struggle over. It don't over. Rasta still being persecuted. And a lot of it is persecuted in the minds of these so-called Christian people who control the school them. We say Rasta picnic can't go to school looking certain way. You see the Chinese picnic can't go there. You see the Indian picnic can't go there. And when them see locks now, them deprive it. And then them look at you and go like, yeah, they are true. You see, Emperor, it's still like, yeah. I say, Rasta, you got dead long time, you know. They look how long Jesus dead. Two thousand years ago, them can't come back up to now. I ride, me, I get right up, you know, young, young. You better play some advertisements, you know. We are to the city over between three and five, three and four. It's brought to you by Growers' Choice. And I want the people them are listening to this advertisement, you know, because them say it's an organic fertilizer. If you want some advice about how to use it, call 876-930-6067. Growers' choice. It's smart choice. ID required. Cash Pot Mega Pot is back. In just two weeks, players have won over $900 million. Play Cash Pot Mega Pot now at Supreme Ventures. This is our next Thursday. We'll continue the musical journey. We want to take some phone call, you know. 
we all take some phone call, we open up the phone to the people there, man. So much issues there, you know, I mean, like Petro Jam, still there on the board. We used to some things are brewed on <laughs> It's all like that, though, you know. It's all like that. It's some serious cover up are going on in other places, you know, according to my sources. Yes, according to my sources. Yo, yo, love, we say my sources. Yes, we have sources. We, 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 we are part of that investigative reports and all these things, you understand? But sometimes, too, we can come out bluntly and say the thing because we know our RFM getting on a problem. I hear them sue the company for all $10 million. You know, see, I go sue me. You understand? And them people say, laugh after them. So, see them start work again. You understand? So, when nobody says certain things, but there are certain things brewing down to Petro Jam. This Petro Jam thing don't done. It don't done. I want to tell you that. This Petro Jam thing don't done, you know. Okay, so I just want you to know that. Mark my word. I'll tell you, you know. The Petro Jam thing is not finished. Okay, so I'm going to take this call. Yes. Hello? Hello? Yeah, bless you. Hello, good afternoon, Mother. Good afternoon. Yes, I'm calling about this um, shipping company. Yes, what I'm talking From December the 13th, I shipped a barrel, mm. a bicycle, and uh, four chairs. And up till now, I try to call the shipping company. No answer, not at all. No answer. The phone then just dead like that. Well, maybe say not a legitimate shipping company then. Reliable shipping company. That's in Westmoreland, Petersfield District. No, but when you say you call them, and you know, your phone just dead? The phone, the phone that I'm calling, the numbers that I have on the paper I'm you calling. No, response. no answer from them. So why you don't go down there? I go there and there's nothing, so I'm wondering what's happening. <laughs> you go there, you don't see the company? No. <laughs> sorry for laugh, sorry for laugh, really. <laughs> no, sorry for laugh. <laughs> really? So, 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 where you are? Tell me where you are, Bidon. Tell me where you are, Bidon. Well, I don't know if you know how to get the goods then, how to get the things that you can't tell you that. So, if you are calling, why you go down there, you don't see no company. That means they've, they've gone with the things then. It's not a legitimate company. All right, let me ask you this. How long ago that? How long ago that? I should be from the 13th of December. Yeah, I know how I've uh, nearly the, uh, the 13th. Yeah, the, the 7th of March. And you're you calling from them time there, you know, you're not, now you go down there, no company, no there. No. And nobody can tell you where them there. No, not at all. So here, where should I do now? You have papers and all them something there? Yes, I have papers, yeah. The shipping company. Papers and them thing there? Yes. Well, here I suggest to you. I suggest to you, you can't tell the police. Uh, so you ever you, you think about that yet? Go to the police with the papers, them. Uh-huh. Because it sounds like a big scam I go on it, so no. Exactly, because let's say 500 Canadian dollars. Yes, yes. Uh, you, could have, you could have given me it and me just use it as extra luggage. <laughs> All right, let me ask you this now. If the container is coming and they find like something illegal in it, I hold the container. Will I be able to get back my goods from the the, the, the No, you'll be able to get free? arrested. <laughs> that is why you'll be able to get arrested. All right. Why you anticipate say? Why you anticipate that though? Because I'm on something like that. Because I'm from December until like, now. Yeah, why you say go down at the company and the company already? Right. right. So, oh, yeah, I say I something like that because the company is supposed to clear your goods for you. And not that they're supposed to do. You're not know, paying for clear the exactly. goods. Exactly. Yeah, you say the because company is not there. I have so. two Canadian numbers on the paper. Yeah, I but, left the right. phone. You remember to know, then. sister. You remember to know. You go to the company, you get, you get a phone and you know, make them not answer. You go to the company and the company is not there. Yes. So, obviously, you need to take another step. The next step, remove that it take. It's go to the police, but you are telling me now, suppose something in there were illegal, and then we really know it sound, sound funny. Why you should I bring up that? The other day I was at home and the phone ring. Mm. When I answer it, a young man said, um, within two weeks' time, and the two weeks gone, mm. middle two months here, 
and go away and come back and I go two weeks now and I go leave tomorrow. And, and you still don't hear nothing? I still don't hear anything. So, and you don't want to go to the police? You can't do that for do. No, not that you have to go do. I got you supposed to do for a long time. You're supposed to go to the police, go make a complaint and show them all the papers them where you have. Say, this is that and this is that. You're supposed to show right. them all of them papers there. Because that's so now we You're talking about a bicycle. A bicycle, four chair, and a food barrel. Eh. Hey. I get two food barrels that you have one there for years. You have one there? No, I joke, I'm not trying to light up the situation, but because it's so that we are. It's so that we are. Yeah. Me say, tell you, if you go to the police, you just go to the police, man. But you're left tomorrow, you say? Yeah. So which 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 area are you there? Which area are you there? Kindon. You need to go to the police station. You need to go to the police. That's what I tell you. Go to the police before you left. Go to the police. Nice. Yeah, when you hang up the phone, just figure out how you're going to reach the police and go, go, go make a, you know, just go to the police. We can't tell you nothing else. All right. Thank you very much. All brother. right, Mama. All right. Next time you bring a bicycle, bring one for me too. All right. Yeah. Yes, that, really, you go there, you don't see nothing, the company gone. That's all like a movie. You know, like a deputy, they see that movie, you know, we leave you be. Okay, so here we go now. Here we go. Yes, here. Step Hello, in. Mr. Mota Baroka. Blessed man. Man, I respect to you, sir. I respect. Yeah. I would like to let you know congratulations on your hard work and your award. Yeah, man, give thanks, man. You know, sir, I'm not allowed to talk to you after you do it. You can't do that. You're talking after you with me up on the year. All right. Cash Pot Mega Pot is back. In just two weeks, players have won over $900 million. Play Cash Pot Mega Pot now at Supreme Ventures. This is. Yeah. All right. Talk, man. Yes, sir. Ah, yeah, well, I, I years now, you know, from way down in the 90s, you know. Eh? From the first youth, just born, you know. From your first youth born? Yeah, at 92. Okay, and not from them time still. Yeah, man, I rest the far right still, you know. Mm. So what do you say? What do you say? What do you say, you know? I want to know what happened to that woman there, you know. What? The woman in the center, you see? Know? You want to know what happened to the police, woman in the center, man? Where the police did. The did pregnant woman? Yeah, where they did the shot. They must get off of the case, man. The police? Yeah, man. Yeah. But you want to know, a two, are you, all right. You see, a two police killing oh. Gwanda where they're in the center, man, where they kill a pregnant woman. Me, you know? Yeah, me Everybody did that here, the, 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 the second one. Yeah. But we don't hear nothing more about the first one, you know. Rastafari. Yeah, man, I'm not going to hear about that first one there. Uh, uh, <laughs> it was about 10 years now, it's a go on. So, that's it. Let me tell you something, you know. When I just say Rastafari, you know, all my people in the day when I go out and say, boy, either you take it or you left it, you know. Because, oh, I can't take it. Well, credit card, no, Regin, entire call my program, you buy a $500 card credit. I have your things paid monthly. You understand? Because I know say a well word talk. I see it, you know. It God left you. Why are you finding out something else for me, right? Why are you finding out something else for me? Soon then.
What a thing. This is the stepping razor. So, we are technically on the bridging. The bridging get chip out just so now. But, we did it on the, the Portland thing a while ago and the Dutty Rasta thing and, you know, Damian Crawford who don't tell the people them say man or Rasta already and them keep saying it to the point now where it get personal. When I say personal, I talk about to me and to the Rastafari community. Me talk now about the Rastafari community where we know say we go through this dirty Rasta thing over the years. And for year now, say election a run. And Damian Crawford, who is what them would have called a well groomed person, as me I say, he must have enough ladies that pick out him in him, him, him beard. Cause them on the face clean, clean. Clean like my bottom. I saw him face clean. So you know, say, him no look no way ruggy ruggy and rugo rugo. Nice suit and coat and everything. So if you're a man really, at, at, at people, not a man, people, people who's a less half than him, I talk about Dutty Rasta. Them no want to Dutty Rasta come up at Portland and all them something. You know, say, I'm me, them attack. Yeah, I made them attack. All right. So, where did the pan board is, is this Venezuela, this Venezuela thing. And I don't jump out. How much things are going on at Jamaica now? Jamaican people are really interested for hear about Venezuela. But some things we are going on at Venezuela that might affect us further down the line. And when you say, the, the, the American propaganda machine start work. There's all sensible people get caught with it. That you can't tell them, say, where them see on TV is not the real thing. And where, where them hear on CNN and um, where them call the Fox Channel and BBC is not the real thing. But we really don't know how that the propaganda machine will work to get rid of legitimately elected people in our countries. We know how them things they did work. We know, say, a lot of the country, them in the South and Central America, get caught in the grip of interference in them political affairs in them country. And it extended itself even to Jamaica during the Michael Manley era. People deliberately can't get things in a shop, and people deliberately can't get certain things that people decided they never left. Jamaica and go to Florida go live. And you can't tell them, say, the thing wasn't real. And we see that happening in Venezuela right now. That the propaganda machine is working. That you can't tell some sensible people, say, this man who was voted in as the prime minister or president. When America say illegitimate, and them, them install. And we ask them install, them install a man who was not voted for by the people. Yet still America is supposed to be this democratic country where them don't like nobody interfering for them internal affairs. Because from two years now, they might, they, they might talk about Russia interference in them election and them things. And if you turn on CNN, CNN is like a let us speak of Donald Trump. See it. Um, group. That's all the that's all the pants in it now. Donald Trump. If you turn on your TV and turn it on back, you hear Trump. If you turn on your TV, you hear them start Donald and then you hear the Trump after. So all we have to see in it now is about Donald Trump. America in I mean Russian in, in, in thing and the lie where some people that tell and all them someday. Here is a country that keep interfering in the internal affair of people. And this latest one now in Venezuela. You know, me have a clip for play now, but I don't know if I can find it. You know. There's a clip for play where there is a highway that black off. And the highway black off because it's not it's an unfinished built highway. It never done built. 
So them put trailers in a the, in a the passage that car don't use it. You know, so the American them take it and put pan and what them call it MSNBC and all them country there and say because them do because the government don't want the aid to come through, them block the road to prevent the aid to come through, and it all over, all over the internet, all over the major newspaper, new, news um TV channel them. Say is the government block the road because them don't want to, the aid from America to come in. And not no go so you know. But you can't tell people say not no go so. You can't tell people say, but look here, the road did block all the while because it's not it's an unfinished built road, it never done build. They never want no traffic to go through there. These are the kinds of propaganda that is used against governments that America is about to go into them country. Just like what them tell you about Gaddafi. And them paint Gaddafi as a, one of the devils. Them paint Castro as one of the devils. And you can't tell some, what we call them, intelligent people, say. But it's a propaganda machine you them have. Them know how to sit down on a table and strategize how them going to fall your government. Or them going to start a civil war in your country against the government so as to overthrow the government. And most of the people them that them put in, and this is a serious thing, and if we don't want to learn from history, it's going to keep repeating itself. Most of the people them that America put in power become dictators and also enemies of America eventually. I don't know have no co- well maybe people can't find a country still, but can somebody please call and tell me of all the countries them that America destabilize, how much of them right now is in proper administration? How much of them? And of all the countries that America invade and destabilize, most of the people them who them put in power are dictators because the people that them put in power was not democratically elected and all the people them that them overthrew most of them was democratically elected most of them was democratically elected and the countries was better off before them going there and the idea of them going there was to, to claim that democracy must rule by the hook the crook. Democracy must rule. There are certain countries that democracy can't run the country. There are certain, because of the historical reference point, or because of the situation of the country at the time, certain system of government cannot run it. So you can't, as a big bully, come now and declare, say, if that country is not democratic, you going to go inside it and make sure it's become a democratic country by creating a coup against the legitimate um, elector, election of the people them. And that is what we see go on in Venezuela now. We see this thing go on in Venezuela where governments who trade, especially oil trade, and it's ironical, it's ironical that Arabia, Arabia is America's, one of America's allies. You see, America, them, them, them idea of, what you call it, human rights need much to be questioned. The idea of human rights, the other day, the king was, um, them say he was responsible for the killing of the diplomat in a the, in a the, in a the, the, the embassy. We not hear no repercussions about that. In a the Turkish embassy, it did happen. We not hear no repercussions in, in about that. We see a lot of people, a lot of countries rise up. We not hear no repercussions. Now we see Venezuela. And Venezuela... Them get you that Chavez, because Chavez obviously never did like 
America. Yes, the country was going on quite okay, just like, just like Gaddafi. You can't tell Americans say Gaddafi not a wicked man. But it depends on which side you look on, which side of the fence you look on. And if you look on the, 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 the propaganda machinery where them people develop, them people have the art of creating disturbance in our countries to make it look like, say, yeah, they, they, they have the art of creating disturbance in our countries where you know, say, it not going to work. And we have a good example of Gaddafi. We have a good example of Iraq. That even if you don't want to accept Saddam Hussein as a, leg, uh, well, not legitimate, but him country was met much better before America going there. I know them destroy the whole country, just like what them do with Libya. Them destroy the whole country you now. Libya do have a legitimate government system. You know, we can't mention a whole heap of, whole heap of place. You know, the Shah of Iran. I mean, like, you name them. The countries them that stand up against America and win. It's much better off. Because when them go in there and destabilize your country, that is it. Sufferation. So now them have this, this thing on the table now. The Caribbean leaders is scared. Scared. Because them know, say, watch out. If America say no tourists will come along here, so. You see, that is the thing when you have, that's what you call colonialism, you know. You call it neocolonialism, where it's a different way of manipulating the system. Manipulate the system. It's like when Obama said, and, and, the, and the, 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 that Obama, what name? The Prime Minister said, any country that don't recognize the human rights of homosexuals, they will be penalized economically. So they're going to penalize you because you don't want to, you don't want to accept a culture that is not inside a your cultural expression. As the Kenya Prime Minister said, what are you talking about? That's an overflowing thing. So you keep that. Nobody come try put no carrot in front of you if you, make, if you agree with what you're saying. And that is really what happened. That it's very difficult, very difficult for you look by your TV and see certain things are going on by the TV and accept it as something that was contrived. You don't want to really say it was contrived because you say it, it where you say, you say, Muta, where you say, you say, no, when me see on my TV and I saw it go. Yes, they make you see what they want you to say. That is really the idea. The idea is to make you believe what them want you to believe and accept reality based upon half of them idea and understanding of how it's going to benefit them. And you can't do nothing about it because they have stick over your head. Just like how they have stick over Jamaica head. They have stick over Jamaica head more than most of the Caribbean country. Them. All you see all them people are talking about independence and this and that and the Prime Minister is doing a wonderful work. If the Prime Minister ever stand up for the rights of Jamaican people and the Caribbean and it don't go in, in, in accordance with the American way, see what happened. Look what got happened. And it's that them all over, all over way. Them all that over way. As the Chinese man come all that over way too. The Chinese man, they going to come all that over way eventually. Because the Chinese man going to invest so much money in a Jamaica. And it's going to take, just like even the, the road, them, you know, you know. I don't know if you understand where I go on with this road thing, you know. The idea is that they were supposed to start building these roads from the, the, the government before, you know. That's where Porsche did go to China, go deal with it, whenever he hear nothing about where we should go to China for. They make an agreement to build the road, them. But they have to start the road at a certain point in time. Or else the money... We're supposed to build this road. At five o'clock? Oh. Do you see how people are here like you are again? All right. Two them have to build the road in a certain time. All right. The money where them get by loan is, is interest. It's like when you go to courts and you take out a bed and them say you have two years to pay off the bed. The bed. 
and you're going to pay a certain interest. But if you pay it off in a six weeks, or two months, or three months, interest-free, it's a similar situation reach them. And that's what China operate all over right now, because them have the money for splat all over the place. Them give you a time. Them give you a certain time and say, all right, this money is going to cost this, and this is the interest rate, and this and that. So you have to build it at a certain time. The reason why the Prime Minister of Jamaica have to do so much road at the same time is because if you do one one, the money and interest on that money going to jump sky high. So you have to do everything one time so the country get disrupted because look at the money that sit on there a long time, you know, and it never used for the previous government. So we you know, have to come use it quick before the interest rate go up. And you see the more the road now done, who you think have to get paid? The work of them, including the Chinaman, them who work on the road. The Chinese, them have to pay the Chinese work of them. And the Chinese, them have to pay the, gov- the, 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 the Jamaican work of them. And if it's not done, the interest rate will go up. China, China, I bring up the same thing where our old colonial masters do. Right now, it's America of the whip over our head. Them have it over our head. We can't do nothing that is we as a people. And if it if it go against the grain of the American way, we going to feel it. We going to feel it. And them politicians know say them can't do certain things. Just like when the, 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 the Minister of Agriculture talked about maybe we should have looked on um M and this and the C B D in the M because it is more acceptable to the American market. So I say no, you know, you remember, uh, 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 Diplomatically, when I tell you, say, yeah, listen, the ganja, the ganja and the TSC night pose a problem to the Americans. So maybe we should develop a strain where have less TSC night and more CDB night that we can get into the American market. Because if we got to deal with this ganja thing, this is the Minister of Agriculture, I, 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 I suggest that, you know, when I name I suggest these things, you know. So maybe we should all look upon how America see them do them things and follow the America because we still are insist that America is our our main partners in trade and industry. While the other country them are run with for them things. Canada produce enough ganja, you know, you know. And, and a trade with other Uruguay and all these people. But we still don't get to know and have some little guys you now follow this other. You say if Jamaica ever do anything that America feel like, say, where them people are dealing with, they, they must know it's, them is a little boys down there, you know. Do it look up, boss is slave down there. What them doing? Them just say, watcha. Them just create a situation where you find, say, them are going to get thing notice. Tourists must avoid Jamaica because too much murder going on. Or something, them just contrive something. And if, all right, you say, all the murder thing, all the murder thing, I mean, I do you know conspiracy theory you now because I don't really believe it. But I just show an example where them can do. Them can create a level of destabilizing your country by having a whole of criminal activities that go on there. And you really believe that it's wicked, the people that get wicked, you know. Them do it in another other country. Them do it in another. other I mean, I suggest you that go on, you know. I just say that the possibility is not out of the realms of reality. Because we see history, and we have to take history and mark that. History. Where them create a certain imbalance in your country. You find, say, all disease start happening, and you find, say, all your things them start to, all sorts of things start happening where you can't progress economically and politically. And then you hear them say, see, that the government are much of the thing. And the only reason why the government are much of the thing I can to them. It's because you never tore the line of America. They will not see that in a Castro, man. How much time fought your time and try to kill Castro? This prime minister here, where we're there in Venezuela now, them did not try to murder him by drone, drone strike. They did have a drone strike on him, you know, and, it, and it's unsuccessful, you know. Yes, them did not try a drone, kill him, try to assassinate him with a drone strike. And it, I say, I don't think they're not going to tell you. I mean, they will tell you still, you know, but they make it pass, like. 
that I, that is of no significance. You understand? What may I say is that this government and the PNP government cannot truly represent the people of Jamaica as it relates to the rights where the Jamaican people are supposed to enjoy. If what them is defending is going against the grain of America, because it's America money run Jamaica. It's American tourism run Jamaica. And even though we have tourists that come from other places, but it's America run the thing. Most of the tourists who come to Jamaica is America they might come from. So we are gear our whole Jamaica towards the Americanization of the culture, the social order, and even the religious order. Because more and more of these televangelists are come to Jamaica. The same guys them will have them own aeroplane and them own this and that. They might fly come to Jamaica as so now come save the niggas. How oh, great thou art that save a wretch like me. This is a white man I sing about himself, you know. A white man, a, sla- a man who used to have slave ship, a transport slave, and him same get converted, and him a sing a tune, and we a sing the tune like a, our tune. A we he was a slave, you know. <laughs> who got a save? A rich like me? And so it go, so it go in a Jamaican society where these leaders, all the here we are talking about free and we have the best, um, we can freely speak, freedom of speech, freedom of free speech. The other day when the man them talk about gay this and gay that, you know, so much of them can't go to America. Can't go to America. Me see what I'm a bridging them, I go to Africa, I have to go to Panama, France, to come back round. You think Bushu can't go back to America? But yet still what? He must go make a he must go beard. Because America know the world. When he left here, he must go to uh, Barbados, go to Trinidad, go and, and then fly to Europe. You understand? And the same money where he make here, so I maybe more, he go make a Europe. Go to a European to a month or two with him banan and clean up over there. So. But we get held to America. You see, America is heaven. Most forty percent of the Jamaican youth them don't want to go to America. Cause them feel there's no hope in Jamaica. How is that there's no hope in Jamaica? There's so much things in Jamaica to hope for. You see, when we say we want to go to Africa, them say we are trying to run around Jamaica. We not deal with reality. Uh, or where we want to go to Africa for? Cause if you know, say people and young people in Africa are worried about disease and all things. Wicked them, wicked. 52 countries in Africa. Africa is not a country, it's a continent. You understand? Today we see rain and wash with California. That now that now go on in New York. That now go on in Colorado and them places. Eh? You still snow and tear down all New York and them places. That now go on in California. It's just so continent and state. That's what it divided into. So when we look now and we see how oh, the hell we are going to move progressively as ourselves. When we have people that all stick over our head, don't do that, do that. If you don't do that, we're going to draw our support. We're going to take IMF, this, we're going to World Bank, this, and we're going to take that. And then we are saying we're free. Them guys don't know what it is to be free, Rasta. They don't know when you're freedom. I don't want to have freedom. Dumb, you can't talk certain things. And you can't be absurd. You have to keep in line. You have to keep in line. And this is what these democratic countries do. Because all you them attack, we're not free. We're not independent. There's no reason to celebrate independence. Because all our thinking, socially, politically, sexually, fashion-wise, religiously, is designed around a system that use a different logic from us. Where the ninety nine percent and the majority of Jamaican people cannot connect to it, and when you get unruly, your ears say, "Use this and use that." Click it. Yes, 
The following is a public service announcement from Flo. Flo wishes to advise that some residential and a business customer in the wider Portmore community in St. Catherine are currently experiencing disruption in their voice, internet, and TV services. The disruption is as a result of road works being carried out at Nago Ed. Flo's technical team is working to resolve the issue as quickly as possible. Flo apologizes for any inconvenience caused and thank you for your patience. That was a public service announcement from Flo. Not only Flo, but the water and all other amenities that are under the ground. These people who is building the road. I don't know if them do have a blueprint at the place. Why so much pipe or bus? Them don't have a blueprint at the, the city where you can say this day, this one, that day, this one. If you dig certain place, it have a bus pipe. You know, say, I, I'm a, I, somebody run up truck the other day up in my area there. And the truck from the, from the bridge bust the pipe. And the whole of St. Andrew. The whole of St. Andrew. I just said that day we get back water. Just said that day we get back water. When we look down the road, you know, from my, the, 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 the road, you know, the amount of people we sit down the road with, with plastic bottle and bucket. And the river water, they might take out, you know. The river water. Me thinks, me, me wonder where I'm going on at the bottom of my road, you know. When me look, me see pure blast plastic bottle on the road. The people, they might take out river water. Well, apparently the water come back. And then the pipe down a port down a, down a Mandela bus again. These people don't have a print on the road. I, I mean, I don't know if I think to advance. I'm <laughs> trying to figure out if I think to advance the rest of Because I can't believe to these people. Anyway, yeah. Yell. 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 Bless up, mate, to my worker. Oh, you know, man. Today I give thanks for life. All right, sir. Mm-hmm. Where are you now? Long time in a year from uh, now. Yeah, man, for real. I give thanks for the high award I get, you know. Yeah, well, I don't like to see the high, don't they? Yeah, I like to see the high, don't they? I don't like to see the high, come on, then. Eh? <laughs> um, I think that's possible. I would really love to be here, yeah, said, yeah. Pray. But you have to say there's a boat there. Yeah, pray. Okay. Anyway, you see, yeah, I deserve it, yes, sir. Yeah, man. Total, time. total. We don't, we don't, we don't know compromise each other. No one or nothing. Yeah. See, I work hard. You thanks. And, you know, you know, I think for holy for Iowa. Yeah. So, what do you so I just give it straight up. Of course. Uh, so it's a blessing I live. So All right. I have to stay strong on young life with strength. Yeah, man. Give the eye to you, know? For real. All right, sir. Blessed man. Yes. Okay. So we still are waiting for some information here. Um, I want to remind you again that the hour between four and five is brought to you by confectionery and snacks. Confectionery and snacks. Power up with sunshine snacks. Peanut. Sunshine snack. Peanut. You know, see, a brother did a sell sunshine in a bottle of Montego beer. Yeah, man. In bottle of sunshine. That's tourists can carry it. Go back. <laughs> you think Jamaica is easy? Jamaica is easy, you know? So you want some sunshine and Jamaica to carry it. Go back and for it. Here it is. That's what you call original scamming. But guess what? I suppose you are going to buy it to that. No, you are the idiot. You understand? Yeah. All right. Our man is going to call you. From whatever I call you. Call you a foreign. And tell you, say, you win something. You don't enter nothing. Right? You don't enter nothing. You don't go into nothing for nothing. And a man call you a foreign and say, you must 
send five hundred dollars for, for cover post field and this and this and that. And, and you send it. Me not, me not, somebody have to explain that to me you now. Somebody have to explain that to me. Why is it that you wouldn't you you, you don't enter nothing? And me will call you up on the phone and say, You are the winner of a brand new Mercedes Benz. Hey, you know, say a man from the middle of a TV so you say, Ladies and gentlemen, if you like I say, if you answer this question, you get the key to a brand new Mercedes Benz. Man answer the question and them give him the key, he asked for the Benz, them say we never say we'll give a Benz, but we'll give the key. <laughs> We all need a key to the Mercedes Benz. Love the car that's that. Oh, oh man. It, hey, me have a, me have a, me have a clip right now. With a, with, with a, a man that try bamboo a, 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 a man in America, you know, and end up saying the FBI man. Him did that talk. You see it? And him never knows it was a, you know, to never find them clip there. Him never knows it was a FBI man. Him a talk to, wait, my virgin come. Yes, my brethren. I tell you, the man look like he have enough money in his bag, you know. No, the man look, hey, me not trust people with all them holding a bag over them shoulder again, you know. Because I know you live somewhere, you know, supposed to have no holding a clothes in your bag. So most other things you have in there. You understand? All right. Boom, All Star Sound Clash. March 7th. What is now? I just had the information on my answer. <laughs> And this is my all right, but read it then. Boom All Star Sound Clash, March 7, 2019, featuring Dynamic, Hurricane, Notorious, King Tobbies, Lexona, Love Injection, True Love, Exclusive, Juggling by No Green Sound, Boom Bucket Deals, produced by Boom Energy Drink. So we all them people that when you hurricane or tourists and king tubbies and that's not sound system. Mm-hmm. Then all don't answer them say juggling. Oh the juggling are oh, the juggling, but the real thing now are them man I go play. Mm-hmm. But it's all like a show with enough artists. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight artists plus the juggler. <laughs> I tell you, admission a cheap door, no, admission, boom! Energy drink. I tell you. Well, I'm just someone that mix boom with some things. I don't want me to stay far. I'm just saying, man, I drink certain things. So the car, and, and, you, know, you know, the motor explodes and all. I wouldn't have them just flash out by me. You know, it's like, we don't want that up that tall. Eh? No, me, I tell you, man. Boom. Okay. I'm a bridge and I come in now. Yeah, oh, yeah. 430 gone. Okay. Come in, Alice. Plug out my things and plug in your thing. Attention, radio station. Welcome. Back away from your radio. I like new music, news talk, updates with artist drops, listener drops, and movie drops. Hey, watch that. Music news. Local. Music news. Welcome to music news. It's the news time. <laughs> You ever see the road runner? Yeah. You, you know that like a cartoon in him, road runner? And yeah. The road runner, when him run fast, and him run off a mountain, him not drop same time, you know? Him wait the clan, and when him realize him not there for the mountain, him drop, and that just reach him a while ago. Attention radio station. Welcome. Please back away from your radio. I like new music. News talk, updates with artist drops, listener drops, sound effects, and movie drops. Hey, watch that. Music news. Local. Music news. Welcome to music news. It's the news time. <laughs> Welcome to music news. It's Thursday, March 7, 2019. I'm Courtney Mack. All right, here we go, Music News in Real Life. The unruly boss, Popcorn, is now officially a member of Drake's OVO Sound Record label. The dancehall entertainer recently signed the documents and had a welcome party. Popcorn also hinted at the deal by uploading a photo on Instagram with a caption reflecting the OVO unruly partnership. 
Last year, December, Drake announced that Popcorn would officially become an OVO member in 2019 while performing at the Entertainers Unruly Fest in St. Thomas. Drake's label is a Toronto-based record label he founded with two other partners in 2012. OVO is distributed through Warner Music Group. The label's roster includes Drake, Party Next Door, Roy Woods, T Minus, Mike Zombie, and Future and the Prince. So Popcorn is officially signed to OVO Records. Big up to Unruly Boss, you don't know the thing, alright? Here's to the welcome party did mud and shell and one with a bag or something, right? Spice has uh, come on the fire from her up cover from her dancer, dancehall queen Talop, who is accusing her of stealing her style. What are you really a talk about? In a lengthy post uploaded on Instagram recently, Talop blasted Spice and her team Spice dancers for allegedly taking her head top stunt. What? Responding to a new video of Spice dancing on her head, Talop wrote a lengthy caption on her Instagram page asking the followers or her followers to watch the video. Talop states that she woke up to people sending her the video of Spice performing the stunt. So she has said, I hear me, I heard stunting on, Talop stunting on. In a Spice music video, she now dance with Spice again. So there's a little conflict going on. Keep it locked to Music News. We give you some more details as it unfolds. But everybody can just live in peace, someone. A dance move, I go on any of them. Say, yeah, my dancing. Tall ups are her dancing. You know? No credit, never giving up. No star, one, two, eight, number sign, you know. John no star. With only 17 days to go and preparations are on the way for the IRFM's prestigious Lifetime Achievement Award, world-renowned dub poet and radio presenter Muta Baruka has been named the recipient of the 2019 award. The IRFM Lifetime Achievement Award, first awarded in February 2017, will be held on March 24 at the Kingston Technical High School. That's Muta Baruka's alma mater. The IRFM Lifetime Achievement Award is awarded annually to a Jamaican distinguished by a body of work that demonstrates outstanding and exceptional leadership dedication and achievement nationally and globally. Dr. Jimmy Cliff was the first recipient of the IRFM Lifetime Achievement Award in 2017 and Bonnie Wheeler received the award in 2018. So come March 24, all roads lead to Kingston Technical High School, Muta Baruka's alma mater. IRFM Lifetime Achievement Award recipient for this year 2019. You know the thing, God, don't it? Step in, raise us up, you know. Hey, party fans, draw closer. Turn your readers up for the 411 on what popping. What's popping for this week? It's all about Boom All Star Sound Clash Thursday, March 7th. That's tonight at Olympic Wayne Kingston. The Sound Clash event will have musical face off by Dynamic, Hurricane, Notorious, King Tubbies, Lexona, Love Injection, True Love, Exclusive Sound, while musical juggling will be provided by No Green Sound. Admission to Boom All Star Sound Clash is $500, like Muta said, cheap, you know. Five bills, you know, going, you know, taking the sound clash, you know. Later on, Olympic way in Kingston. On the international scene, singer R. Kelly directly addressed his failure to pay child support during his CBS interview and is blaming his ex-wife, Drea. He claims her lies about his abuse are the very reason he's unable to make money to pay her. No, according to TMZ, sources close to the situation says the singer is lying. As was reported, R. Kelly went ballistic during his interview with Gail King and at one point screamed he was only trying to repair ties with his kids and didn't care about his career. Seriously? That's what you really say? Either way, Kelly has uh, definitely fallen short with his kids when it comes on to the child support, which is why he was arrested again on Wednesday. The R&B singer will need to fork out over 161,000 US dollars to his ex-wife Drea to be released. That means if him don't play, R. Kelly don't pay 161,000 US dollars, he's not gonna be released. He's gonna be staying in jail. Only if something not going with R. Kelly. Only if R. Kelly do that something. Only if him just set up himself with all of them something. Only if something. Only if something. You know, look good none at all for him. R&B singer. Anyway, moving right along, celebs celebrating their birthdays today, veteran producer Donovan Germain, U.S. singer Taylor Dane. And if you're having yourself a special birthday, of course, we say happy birthday to you. Make sure you enjoy yourself and have a great day and you know, do things in moderation like we always say. You understand? You know the thing, go don't it? On this day in music, the year was 1975. David Bowie released his ninth studio album, Young Americans. This day in music, the year was 1998. Madonna went to number one on the UK singles chart with Frozen, the singer's eighth UK number one, taken from her album Ray of Light. 
Also in this day in music, the year was 2009. Rapper Coolio was charged with drug possession after being arrested at Los Angeles International Airport. Yep, yep, yep. And that was, was of course, 2009. That's the full of the music news for today, Thursday, March 7, 2019. Remember to check out irfm.net slash ebuzz for more music news details. You can also check out live at 545 for entertainment spotlight. Gotta big up the peeps on IRFM IG Live. Big up yourself every time. Peter Wagwan, everything check in. Everything check in. So the way of them and them something there now. Two phone them going there. You know the thing, all right? I'm Courtney Mack. Muta Baruka, it's the stepping razor. Choose the powerful four from Benjamins to feel better faster. Soothe on Benjamins Calamine Lotion for fast relief from irritation and rashes caused by insect or mosquito bites. Reach for Benjamins Rubbing Alcohol with Wintergreen for aches from joint and muscle pains. Most importantly, protect yourself from pesky mosquitoes with Benjamins Eucalyptus Oil or Essence of Peppermint. Add 15 to 30 drops of either to half cup of olive oil and rub on or use as a spray. Feel better faster with the powerful four from Benjamins, a name you can Trust. From now to March 16, Cash Pot a fire back up the Mega Pot. Yes! Cash Pot Mega Pot out again! I, I, I. You can win from $1,000 with the gold Mega Ball. That's a $260 from a regular $10 bet, plus $740 from an extra $10 Mega Ball bet. And with the return of the Silver Mega Ball, we can win from $560. Hey, we go Supreme Ventures now! Car Cash Pot Mega Pot is back! Yes, this is the stepping razor, the art of war. You know, a bridge of mind just said a thing to me when I really want to read, you know, because it's a very important little thing. He say, for every entrepreneur that is dead, set, for every entrepreneur that is dead, set and paying money for a brick and mortar building office, pay attention to the trend. PLS store closed down. You might talk about place where build up with brick and mortar and place where big business. You say PLS store closed. Macy's stores closing. Kmart stores closing. Sears closed store closing. Radio Shack closed. Toys are us closed. The largest transportation provider in the U.S., does not own a single car and is Uber. The largest movie company in the world does not own a movie theater, Netflix. The largest hotel company in the world does not own a single hotel, Airbnb. The largest, no, having a successful building, sorry, Having a successful business does not require a building, but it does require innovation. I sometimes like when we are talking about dream, when we are talking about half year, the dream thing. That means say uh, the days of deciding say you have to have a building space for be innovative in your workplace is is gone. People stay at home now and making millions. You have CEOs where don't go to them work eight to five. Them stay at them house and is making millions. Millions. So this is really something to think about. The largest hotel. Though I'm not it's, 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 it's not building not there is Airbnb and the largest movie company. It's Netflix, and them do own no cinema. <laughs> no cinema. Very important, very interesting. And the, peop- and, the, and the thing about it, that the places where have the building, them, most of them, the big ones, them are closed down. You know, no matter what PLS, Macy's, Kmart, Radio Shack, and all them things there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah? Hello? Hello? Why are we not here? Hello? 
Hello. 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 God, yeah. Hello? Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah, mommy, I listen, am I, man. Am I on air? Yes, you're on air. Yes. yes. I have a problem with Cornwall communication. Cornwall communication? Yes, cable. Oh, that is, that is, that is the romantic of here? Yes. Okay. What is the problem? My problem... I I paid for three months services on the third of January this year. Mm. I have not yet received a week uninterrupted pro service. And when you try to phone that place, you it, they give you the impression that is to say you are intruding in their private space. Mm. You call and they said, "Oh, we will send." The serviceman up there. Yes. You don't get the serviceman. You call, the serviceman is in, is in the country. Yeah. He will come soon. You call, they tell you, oh, well, I came up there last week and I fixed it. The whole of last week, I got one day on service. And I've been calling on the workers. I spoke to somebody at, who said they were the manager the other day. Her name is Vanessa. And she said she was going to look about everything and everything will be okay. I, I cannot get anything. I did not get the Oscar. I did not get some, um, all my favorite programs. Yes. Nothing. The all right. Is here. So going to ask I you a question. Ago, and one of the workers yeah. one of the, said to me, oh, I'm going to be calling the technician. Yeah. And I'll let him know. He right. came back Ma- and said the technician say he came up and fixed it last week. If I've done anything to this. All right, I can ask you something. Is there any other it's service? kind of golf you get from Cornwall Communication. All right, I'm asking you, is there any other cable network that you can switch fra- to in Montego Bay? Um, let, I, I'm not quite certain. But it got maybe you should investigate that. that. Maybe you should investigate if there's any other service. That you can't yes. switch from since you you have a problem with with that one. The, yes, the, the, so why they take your money? Eh? Why they take your money and they don't give you the service? I couldn't answer you that, but I'm just saying to you that if the service is not at your liking, maybe you could sh- switch servers. Yes. You investigate if there's any other server in the area where you could switch, because I don't know what you can do now if them keep saying that. Uh, all the people have the same thing with Flo. You know, Flo is a big, big company, you know. They have a reason still. Them says people them have fixed the road and bust the pipe them. But um, if if you're not getting a good service from them, maybe you should consider and change the service. Uh, service. Uh, uh, so, now, I, I don't know where to start. I spend three months here every year. And I... It, the service at best use is spotty. But this year, it's for the birds, and not even the birds would tolerate it. The upfront people, in most cases, are very, very rude. You go to the office, and, you know, it's like, just, what are you doing here kind of attitude? All right, so how did you hear about them? How did you find out about them? Who, who introduced it to them? About 15, 16 years ago. No, who introduced it to them? The, 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 the um, proprietors for the, of the place where I live. I own a condominium unit. Yes. Montego Bay Rocket Club. Yes, yes, yes. And they were the ones who um, had the place wired for um, Cornwall Communications. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, and so this is where, so they have their wiring or whatever they, they use. And occasionally, I used to have some problem, and the problem was addressed. I got 
since this year. Nothing. And yet they collect your money. Yeah, well, you should try changing them. That's all I could tell you. Try to change them. Find out if there's any other company there yeah, and change but, them. But that is not an option? That, that is an option, but will I get back my money from them? Well, that I can't tell you. Well, maybe you'll have to go see a lawyer about that then. Maybe you'll have to go talk to a lawyer about... You'll go to a small the, claim lawyer. Eh? I have to register this in a, in a small case. I want to know if, um, you know, anybody listening to me have the same kind of problem with call all communication. Okay. Well, I guess maybe somebody will call then if they have a problem. But I don't know if somebody has a problem with it, how that going to help you. Yes, but at least it might put the buzz in management's ear. So, so what you, you don't want you don't want to go to the lawyer? Yeah, yes. So I go to the lawyer. Yes. You know the old saying: while the grass is growing, the horse is starving. I'm not getting any problem. Yeah, but you're not getting the program. Whether you go to them or not, you just think say you go to them, you're not going to get the program. No, you're not getting any. At least you've been trying to to resolve the issue by going to a lawyer rather than saying about the ass okay. and the grass. You know what I mean? I have a question to ask you. Yes. Does the Ministry of Communication, if they have such a ministry here, um, monitor these companies? I don't know if they monitor it, but if you if you want to talk about the, the consumer, um. Yes, yeah. consumers, you, you can check them to find out about the inefficiency of um, of these companies that that is is, is is taking your money and you're not getting the service. You know, like so I maybe bought, we should go to them. I, I bought a a, a digital um, um, box um, from uh, three years ago for ten thousand dollars. And then I pay for the the, the time, um, three thousand dollars a month or something like that. I came down this year. I called. They just said that I put the box. They cut off the service. Say it's, it's now obsolete. You know, nobody gives you any notice. You pay for your, your, your the goods, and it's just so. What if we? feel like cutting off the, 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 the service. So what? You know, come and buy another one. And, yeah. and, and this is what I'm saying. In this country, the consumer commercial, the consumer um, ministry. Yes. Monitor these things. Are these people allowed to just run roughshod over customers? Well, Without any right, what Without I am any suggesting to you, hello, what I am suggesting to you is that there's two things you can do. You can either search for another provider or call the people who are responsible for consumer um, things, complain to them, or go to the street things, or go to a lawyer. There must be somewhere it can be resolved. Three things. Lawyer, the consumer place, or the people them who, who give you the thing. So you can choose any one of them that I want. I don't know which one you want to choose, if you choose any. Uh, well, okay? Thank you very much. Um, okay. Okay. As I said, you know, what, what do you do? As I what said, I just I tell you about three things that you can do. That's what I just tell you. Three things. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes, click it. Yes, we want to tell you that the hour between four and five is brought to you by confectionery and snacks. Confectionery and snacks. Power up with sunshine snacks, peanut. Okay, the following is a public service announcement from Flo. Flo wishes to advise that some residential and business customers in the wider Portmore community in St. Catherine are currently experiencing disruption in their voice, internet, and TV services. 
The disruption is as a result of a roadworks being carried out at Nago Ed. Flo's technical team is working to resolve the issue as quickly as possible. Flo apologizes for any inconvenience caused and thank you for your service and patient. That was a public service announcement from Flo. Yes, yeah. El, blessed. Uh, yeah, you're the panel reader now. Yes, Mr. Buta. Oh, you do? No. Mr. Buta? Yes, ma'am, you're the panel reader. Yes, I am trying. I called you last night. Oh, yeah? yeah? I did now. I'm trying to find one Garfield Amman. Garfield Amman? Thomas. Thomas. Yes. Okay. I spoke to him last month in the state, and he said he was coming down. And from that, nobody... Where am coming down him. from? From the United States. And okay, from that, I'm coming down. Can hear from him. Every time I ring his phone number, the United States. Uh, uh, when, when, when you ring him phone number, what happened? Somebody answered another gentleman and said that he, he is his brother. And he's in the um, he's in the North York the hospital in Montego Bay. Oh, yeah? So I traveled to Montego Bay because I'm down in Montego Bay now. Yes. And I um, checked the hospital. I don't find him. I know where he's there. And every time I ring his phone, there is nobody answering it. All right, hold on, hold on a little bit. Who wants to listen up? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to hold on a little bit. Here, hold on. Yeah, listen up. Top draw dollars. Pick two, pick three, pick four. And catch back. Drive time draws. Up next. 7, 2019. I'm DeAndre. Welcome to our Supreme Ventures Drive Time Live Game Draw. Before we begin, here's a quick look at our 1 p.m. as well as our 3 p.m. winning numbers. Remember, all Supreme Ventures Live Draws are being supervised by the Betting Gaming and Lotteries Commission and observed by the independent auditing firm PwC. And now let's put some money in your top draw. This afternoon's jackpot is now 800 thousand dollars and here are the winning top draw numbers so good luck and here they come first up it's the number 18 and then we have the number 20 the third top draw number this afternoon is 12 the fourth number coming down and it's lucky number 13 and the fifth and final top draw number this afternoon is the number 16. And now let's pick a play with our dollars game. So I do hope you're feeling lucky this afternoon. And here are the winning dollars numbers. So let's see how well you did. And here they come. First up, we have the number 28. And then it's the number 10. The third dollars number coming down this afternoon is 24. 24 is followed by the number 12. After 12, it's the number 33. Up next, we have the number 21. And here comes our next number, and that's 16. 16 is followed by the number 7. Coming right along, we have the number 14. And after 14, it's the number 35. Up next, we have the number 20. And our next number and final number is 25. And now for some easy winnings with our pick two games to so get those tickets out. And let's go. The first pick two number coming up. And it's three. The second pick two number this afternoon. And it's the number six. So once again, the winning pick two numbers are three and six. Up next, you can play it three ways. And that's, of course, our pick three game. The first pick three number coming up. And it's nine. The second pick three number this Thursday afternoon is also nine. And the third and final pick three number coming up. And it's the number seven. So once again, the winning pick three numbers are nine, nine and the number seven. And it's now time to turn up your winnings. So get ready for a pick four game. The first pick four number. And it's nine. The second pick four number coming up. And it's zero. The third pick four number this afternoon. And it's the number eight. And the fourth and final pick four number coming up. And it's lucky number four. So once again, the winning pick four numbers are 
0809-4908 and the number 4. Remember, confirming your winning numbers is simple and easy. All you have to do is use our Supreme Ventures app, check the price or call or results hotline. And a quick reminder that our 3 p.m. winning cash pot number was 3 and the lucky mark for 3 is dead and a white ball was selected. Now remember, you live to play, but can you win it? Well, let's see what this afternoon's winning cash pot number will be. And this afternoon's winning cash pot number is lucky number two. So congratulations to all our cash pot winners. The winning number is two and the lucky mark for two is small fire. And guess what? Over $940 million have been won in the past two weeks for a cash pot mega pot promotion. And also from now until Saturday, March 16, you'll have even more chances for mega winnings with our two mega balls. With the Gold Mega Ball, you will win an additional $740 for every $10 bet. And with the Silver Mega Ball, you win an additional $300 for every $10 bet. And now, let's mega your cash pot money, so good luck. And let's see what color ball is going to be selected this afternoon. And a Silver Mega Ball has been selected. So congratulations to everyone who won. And now, let's take a look at this afternoon's winning numbers. And of course, Digital Direct Top Up is now available at all all or Supreme Ventures terminals. You can top up with as little as $50, so please do try it out today. And of course, do join us again at 8.25 p.m. for more games you will love to play. I am DeAndre. Have a supreme afternoon. Hope you were a big winner. Play your favorite Supreme Ventures games every day and tune in for our live draw six times a day at 8.30 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m., and 8.25 p.m. on this station. Supreme Ventures Games people love to play and more. Yes. That was Shamara, it's not me. Everybody here is Shamara, so we should just say a while ago. Okay. All right. That was the drive time top draw. That was pick two, pick three, pick four, lucky five, and catch pot draws. Congratulations to all of today's winners. Join us again at 8.25 p.m. for another chance to win in top draw dollars. Pick two, pick three, pick four, and catch pot draws. Big man thing. Are you really cook every Sunday? Yes. The kids say my cooking tastes better than wife, you know. And it's only Kendall coconut milk good enough for my rice and peas. Kendall vegetable island coconut milk. That's your secret. The time by Kendall is... Yeah, the time is five minutes past five o'clock. We are on the stepping razor. So here we're going, the lady. Hi, hello, you still there? Hello, I'm right here. All right, now. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. It was relating your, 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 your the problem. Yes, um, Garfield Thomas. I I am in Montego Bay now, and I went to the corner Regional Hospital last night, searching for him, and they say he's in book there. And every time I call his number, somebody hung up. So- and only peer message. The, there was one man that spoke to me. He said he's Garfield brother, and he won't give out. Ex- so you are what? To, hello, I I really want to find out what she is to the brother. If you could, have, yeah, operator, call back the lady there. If you have her number, me don't know. Call back the lady there, me could get to talk to her there because she's missing somebody. So like she just come come in to see somebody too, and she now find somebody so. Yes, I. Yes, Mr. Booth. Yeah, you get cut off. Yes, I know my credit run out because I finished digital credit already. But yeah. I did ask the young man to call me back and be again. Okay, yes, the young I lady. Yes, the line too. Yeah. What happened? There's another lady in San Andreas, an old lady, that is doing business with him. Hello? Yes, he's doing business yes. with Miss Brady. 
a lady named Miss Brady, she sell roots. They're into a house business that buying a house for him. All right. Wait a now. Look here. Yeah. You, you, you send this message that guy you want to find him, right? Yes, I would like to find All him. All right. Uh, is, what is his name? Tell me what his name is. Hello. What is the name of the person again? Remind me. Garfield. Thomas. Thomas. Yes. From Garfield. where? Where him come from? Where him come from? Garfield Thomas from where? I don't know where he's from, you know. He's so what what is your, your relationship with him? Is the old lady, Miss Brady, asked me to look for him. I Miss know Brady, him where's Miss Brady? Where's Miss Brady? Miss Brady is selling right at St. Bay Market on the street. So why Miss Brady asked you to look for him? Miss Brady asked me because Mr. Garfield and Miss Brady is into a house business. Bye. No, why them ask you to do it, to look for him? You are what? Because, what you? I, because he did give me the number for Miss Brady. So I keep calling the number. No, I'm asking you, what are you to Miss Brady or Mr. Thomas? What yes, are, you are what? Friend, good friend. Oh, you're a good friend for Miss Brady. Yes, I'm good. So you are doing it as a favor? You are doing it as a favor then? Yes, I'm just doing a favor. All right. So, Mr. Garfield Thomas, please can you yes. get in contact with, what is your name? Altia Mills. Altia Mills. You want to put your phone on the, your, your phone number on the radio or you don't want to put I your phone? I want to put the number 779, no, 877. 4495. I want that number go on it. 877 Yes, that number can go and on And so, it. Mr. Thomas, anybody who know the whereabouts of Mr. Thomas, could you please yes, contact this lady? Thomas, uh, yes, is trying to get a hold of him. And she wants to get hold of him because of what? Pardon me? No, what what you want, what the lady want to get hold of him for, not the, the lady that you because talk about. They're buying a house in San Andreas Bay. Okay. So who's selling the I, house? She or him? No, Mr. Miss Clark Billing they are selling. And true is Garfield looking for it for him. No, no, make I ask you a question. The house yeah. that they are buying, who is buying the house? Miss Brady and Garfield. Garfield buying it for Miss Brady. Oh, Garfield Thomas a bride house for Miss Brady. Yes. So the two of them, the two of them, his wife and husband are just girlfriend or no, boyfriend. Just friend, just friend. And it, uh, just friend, just, just buying a house for her. Yeah. Eh? No, they're not wife and husband. They're just friend. It's an old lady, you know. And I'm oh, trying to put her in a, a house that she can spend her like a lifetime in. Yes, uh, she okay. and her user tiger with Garfield. I don't know how it go, but yeah, yeah. she tell me, and the house is selling in Tenants Bay. All right, I, will, I hope you find him. I hope you find him here. He's nowhere at Carnal Hospital. And everything yeah, well, now that you're on the radio, it, it is a wider thing than, than the, the phone this now. So yes. I hope that you find him. I hope that somebody who knows Mr. Thomas. Who buying the house or who buying the house for this lady in Saint Saint Anne will really Saint call me before the program. Yeah, before the program done, if you could have called me. Okay, mama. Pardon me? I said, okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you a lot, Mr. Booker. All right, yes. Yes. So I get the picture now. This lady, this Mr. Saint Thomas, Mr. Thomas is buying a house for this lady. And this old lady is trying to contact Mr. Thomas for the lady. She don't really have nothing to do with it more than is a good friend of the lady who's supposed to get this house. So we're asking the man who was supposed to be in a hospital and not there to really find these ladies and see how they can rectify it. We don't want you to sell the woman or pussy on a bag and tell her you have to buy a house for her. And then you know, buy the house. You understand? Because they're depending on it. They're depending on it. The house is in St. Anne also. Okay? All right. So, this is the stepping razor. We're there with you. Like why? 
Blessed man. Evening. Good evening and good evening to your listeners, them. All right, sir. Yeah, upon the road, me there still might be a very good night, but my credit would have done to call a little job of credit. I might keep profiting you know, about at the same time, I say, one I time it broke up a Pulse, Pulse Entertainment and up um, Peter Touch Museum. Yeah. Yeah, I make you a CD, but I don't hear nothing about the motor. You don't hear nothing about the CD? Yeah, I make you one. So tell me now, which, 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 which are the program you listen to mostly? Eh? Which are the program that you listen to mostly? I to why them listen. Just for me Every time every, you come every, on, every, you don't every, miss every, not. How much is since, since, um, since about, um, February, my career, I kind of get mashed up. So how long ago you give me the CD? Eh? How long ago you give me the CD? But, um... I think uh, 2017. 18, 19, two years ago. Uh, but not but not but not December them time then. 2017. Yeah. And you listen to me ardently from them time until now. <laughs> no, enough time I try to call out me not get you. No, me not about call me. Listen, listen. You listen to me from 2017 till now. You know, miss an inch of the program. No. No, 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 man. When you listen to it, you know, go to the toilet. Nobody don't <laughs> knock on your door and you go and go talk to them. No, 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 unfortunately. So you're sure, yeah. it's not, but you're sure I'm positive that so I don't play that tune there? I don't hear it play more, trust me. Yeah, but I don't no, no, ask you that, no. I don't ask if you hear it, I ask if you know that I don't play it. But no, I mean, I accuse you, say, you're not playing. No, you, you can't accuse that, me. You, you, you can't, can't accuse me. You can't Fire accuse me, though. No. It's not a jail thing to say at all. Right, hear what I mean, you know. Yeah. You want to send back. Which part which you give me the CD? Your part Paul's, you say? Yeah, right. yeah, but, yeah. Get, where the CD in here? Where the tune name? The tune name, Jafarai. Jafarai? The, the CD, the CD, the, 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 no, you don't know, Who sing the tune? Michael Prophet. Are you at a long time, Michael Prophet? No, not Michael Prophet. Mikey Prophet. Oh, right. <laughs> You're coming on next man's name. Watch it, you know. No, 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 no man's name. In your Michael, me near Mikey Mota. Then the shot. <laughs> so, yeah, then. When somebody <laughs> named Michael, they're not calling him Mikey. Well, in my name, but I don't think he, 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 he registered a name there as. Michael, uh, as Mikey Prophet, uh, Michael Prophet, he's supposed to register. Yeah, <laughs> where the music is concerned. All right, sir. All right. Me now see it so. Me now see it so. What's that name? Jackie. Um, Jafari. That's my name, I tune. And the little CD label, uh, Jacking. Jacking? Yeah, yeah. That's my label. No, nah, red, green, and uh, 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 yellow. Okay. All right, let me, me, me see it. All right, so you remember to know. Let me get back to yeah. see the who, who played Pirate? Let me see if I can ask them feet. I think, I think, I think, let me, let me tell you, Miss Kelly, let me tell you, Kelly, supposed to play. No, you, she played her, she's supposed to play it. She play, man, she play. You hear when she play? And, you hear when she play? I think DJ Wien, I think DJ, and DJ Wien, not, not, I, I don't really think, DJ Wien play too. Okay, so you hear them two people that play it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't hear me play it? Hello? Yeah, I credit done here now. <laughs> I don't know you're talking. I don't know you're talking. Let me say this in one minute. All right, me figure it out. Here, Bridget, me figure it out. Yeah, man. Say, say I can't do one, because you don't know. Well, I don't know if you're out there, you know, and big up yourself like you're doing a motor. <laughs> but he's your love, one love. He's more big up himself like me, too. All right, sir. All right. DJ, we still have played. He said, we still have played. All right. Yes, this is the Stepping Razor. We want to play the script, you know. Every time we play it, we don't play it. We want to play the script, yeah. 
Where where the clip there? See John. Jamaica has approximately 1.9 between 1.9 and 2 trillion dollars of loans outstanding and of that amount we owe about 79 million 79 billion to China which is just about 4% of our total loan stock. China represents a very important source however of bilateral financing and as far as bilateral financing is concerned financing from one state to another state uh, China would be a very important partner. Jamaica has approximately 1.9 between 1.9 and 2 trillion dollars of loans outstanding and of that amount we owe about 79 million 79 billion to China which is just about 4% of our total loan stock. Okay. Seventy nine billion dollars. And it makes it sound like I just four percent of everything with Jamaica. <laughs> you know, it's like the body not easy you know? it's just, it's just about four percent of the whole of the whole thing where we owe. So that is not really you no know, no big but big issue. Brethren is a big issue. Seventy-nine billion dollars, and them keep adding on this and adding on that. And the longer the road them take for bill, is the more it get it add on. Not to mention the other investment where them are planned for we. You remember we played the stage where the minister say them are invest how much billion dollar and them give it six billion and them give it one billion already. And then the woman, the diplomat, come and say them are going to build a city in a Cayman as we are going to cost two billion US dollar. That not add that not add to nothing yet. That not add to the, how much you say? Seventy nine billion, seventy nine billion dollar, seventy nine billion dollar. That not have nothing to do with where we come, you know. Because you have two billion dollar we have a build city, and you have an like six billion dollar where the, the the minister say I go hand it down and them get one billion dollar out of that already. They must tell you where they use one billion dollar for yet, you know. Because we see some enough money at Spanish Portland, you know. I mean, I insinuate say, some other money to go there, but it was ironical that a whole heap of road was supposed to fix. Them shift the money from St. Thomas Garden in Portland, you know. That's why I know that's why I know say politician and some serious set of people, you know. The people them road want fix long time, you know. But now is the time. And you see right now, it's catch what and guess what? It's government money them I use. It's government money them are use for the people them. Government money supposed to use for run election now because them allot certain money to electoral this and electoral this and that you know. The party supposed to lobby different places to get money. Them people are, them people are, may I tell you man. The, I mean, when you think say the people them are going to do, when I think that, but when the people them think say certain things, remember when the prime minister the lobby say, he may go leak down all the garrison areas, no more garrison. You know, so the garrison areas, them still prevail. Garrison areas still prevail, you know. When people are talking about, we need a prime minister with young and this and that and all them something there. Now, they are run an election at Portland, you know. Darrell Vaz is a man we we like in a Portland. His wife are run now. Just like Pearl Charles' son, just like Peter Phillips, it's a dynasty thing. I work at Guana, so no, you know. Dynasty thing, I go on, you know. it's like it's like the artist them, the artist them, them pick me an artist too. Most of the artists them pick me an artist too, so it's like a dynasty thing, I go on. But the reality of the situation is this: when election come. Them show you some little things in front of you, and you know, so them put a carrot in front of you. And say, see, see, see we have fixed roads, see, see we have and the people them now remember say the road is dead how much years and never fix, you know. Where them get the money all of a sudden for do it. You see, that's why I mean I say anything the government want to do, them can do it, you know. I hear them matter what them have no money for this and them have to cut back find this and cut back. Anything where the government want to do, them can do it. The people them must understand that they are carrying people them for a ride downhill. Downhill. 
when you see the people them on the bus side and all up them orange flag or them green flag and a bad ride people upon the road to them go and meet and thing. And when the meeting done, all them end up with five thousand dollar and a box of Kentucky fried chicken. And maybe a boom. And them gone home back to the same situation and then five years after now them still have to go recycle and regurgitate the same madness. Look how the place is dry now. And people are ball for water, you know. You still hear them talk about water restriction. The situation is that the Hermitage Dam and the Mona Reservoir is supplying the same amount of water where it used to apply all 100 years ago. And the population is billions, not billions. The population is many, 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 many times. That's why when water broke, water pipe broke out of Mandeville, not much Mandeville, water pipe broke out of Mandela. Downtown feel it. Downtown feel it when water. So I don't understand how the people them just succumb to some craziness all the while. Where them get this money? How much billion of dollars go spending at the election? You know, you never hear them talk about it. You know, millions again, you know. Billions of dollars they go spend in the election. And it's not a, what them call it? It's not a general election, you know. It's not a general election. What is it that them go and use over a billion dollars to do between now and the election? What them going to do? Can somebody please explain to me? I am very naive to the point of stupid when it comes on to money spending as it relates to election. Because I know money spending as related to show. And to me, the election is like a big show. I mean, you say one of the, 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 the content of them, I got to keep a show. With big artists, I mean, no, the artists them now perform free. I mean, I wonder now, them people they have money still, you know. They have money. What may I say? Them people they have money, a part of the actual land of Jamaican society. They have money. You understand? But we know, say, when the thing done, them still have the same money where they start out with. So they find the money somewhere else. Somewhere else, them find the money. What the hell is going on? What, 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 why the people, them, every time we have to go through the same reason, I say, what? A stupid, we're so stupid, Rasta, that them keep doing the same thing the same way all the while. We're not going to get no different result. You keep doing the same thing the same way all the while, you're going to get the same result. You can hang up on the back outside a bus, put on your green shot or your orange shot, go up a port and go stand up on the road, and you end up with five thousand dollars. They might issue money up there, you know. You never know they might issue money up there already. Money start issue up there. You think a joke business? Money and election time yet, you know. They say, watch out, that election you are run like it's a general election, you know. Now tell you this, you know. It's a general election them are run, you know. Because it's the man who's dead. The man who's dead, I can't to them, the people, they love him, you know. And them kill him. We don't know who kill him, but we know, say, the kind of killing we go on, they saw, come like a crime of passion. Because them say a 20 stab, a 20, you never hear about it. The man, the, the, the politician who's dead, an OPNP politician. Eh? Where my name again? Them not, them not murder the man, man. Yeah, yeah. Them start paying to stop him get. No, nobody don't just rob you and stab you 20 times, you know, Rasta. That means that you know the person who do it, you know. Yeah, it's a personal thing. And my little mentality, I tell me, say, if I want to stab you two times and you're dead, is one thing. But when you must stab, stab you, it's a passion stab. They must stab you. Passionately, they must stab you. There's something in him that you feel like you're doing. And you wasn't supposed to do that. You understand? No, they must use that now, you know, as part of the campaigning process, you know. Because we hear man accuse man now. This PNP brother jump up in the air like he's an idiot. And start talking about them, ki- them kill him. <laughs> Where's the name? Where's the name? Campbell. Yeah. Dayton Campbell, yes. And I'm have to go back now, go apologize. I'm have to apologize, you know. Because how it sound, 
It sound like him at say. And it makes sense. Hey, the man know where no way matter, you know. Him know where matter, you know, because he knows him can apologize after, you know. Yeah, but I don't like we, you know, we're going to say, no, you're going to hear say, them go, like if we go talk some personal against an individual now, you're going to hear say them sue me, sue this, sue that, sue that, and all them way there. You know, see, that if I'm going to sell two, two of them CD players for pay them, all them way there. So it's like, them know where they might do. You think Dota don't know where they might do if him say that? If him say that, him knows him going to get a backlash, and then him go just draw back and pull back. And him friend him just say, why you shouldn't say that, you know? And they said, tomorrow, tomorrow you're going to hear something that's worse than when, when, when them said, when them name, when my boy name, man, Crawford, Crawford talk about that. And then when, when, when they say, all the boys say, my rasta, them say, him in a pork shop and all them somewhere. And then you like, the people them now, I said, not the rasta. And then him now, I come and say, um, Mrs. Um, Mrs. Vaz. Mrs. Vaz. What's your name? Vaz. Mrs. Vaz. Can only be Mrs. Vaz. She never get no further than being Mrs. Vaz. You see, all them statements, you know, as an intelligent youth, you know, him know what I'm saying, you know. But you see, if you see, for America, him say that, it wouldn't come so, you see, we're going like we're conservative at Jamaica, you know. Because if it was in America, him say it, you know, the other party that come with something wicked than that, you know, and spice up the thing, you know, you understand? For sure, him say, oh, you go out with your little telecation and go like the other dedicated that. Watch out now. This and this and that. So the fight in a Jamaica, personal, more than just being party, is a personal thing. And people's spirit get and them have the people them around there. It's like Vibes Cartel and, and my father when they in a war and when DJ start war, it get personal. Them two political party are come like some little DJ business are going. And the people them not you think I like. They might go like them not realize they have some DJ thing. They might have them, they might talk for a mic, see me like the DJ of them. And they might stir up the people them like the DJ of them, have the crowd like the DJ of them. What is the difference in Jamaica between two politicians who is running that for election and two DJ that is running for election? Can you answer me after we come back? Tento, you know, them kind of have little issues with the breastfeeding and thing, but really, it's the best thing for the children. So why should we have to hide behind a screen? You know, I feel like, yes, there may be, you might have a designated area where you say, please sit over there, but putting women behind a screen is just one, one more.